A major snowstorm is moving across the Rockies and into the middle of the country as we go into this weekend. We'll get you all the information that you need to know right here on today's forecast. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Welcome back to Weather on the Go, all your weather coverage. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. It's absolutely free to do, and you get detailed weather breakdowns right here on Weather on the Go. And also be sure to press the thumbs up button. It helps out more than you know. Going back to the tornado outbreak again on Monday, November 20th, we did update this here and you do see that we have 15 tornado reports from Louisiana into South Central Mississippi on Monday and we also have two reported tornadoes, one in South Carolina and one in Southeastern Alabama on Tuesday, November 21st for a total of 17 total tornadoes from the tornado outbreak on Monday into Tuesday all told. Looking here ahead, we do have our National Weather Service offices out there in the Rockies and the Central Plains have given a winter storm warning headline for portions of Wyoming into western Nebraska and northern Colorado, and that is likely to expand in coming days as some significant snowfall is moving forward as we go into this weekend. So showing you that right here, this afternoon, this is what the radar will look like here. Showers and snow showers out there across portions of the Rockies, across Wyoming, across Montana, into Idaho, into portions of Nevada there. We'll likely be seeing some heavier snowfall rates with the lift off of the Rockies there. And then as we go into tonight, with the lift of the Rockies, we're going to see that low pressure centered across eastern Utah, and it's really going to blossom that snow shield as we go into overnight tonight, likely seeing some areas of one to two inches of snow per hour with all that lift over the Rockies, especially from Wyoming down into Colorado and across Utah, including the Salt Lake City area, Cheyenne, Wyoming, getting in toward the North Platte region, getting into the Denver area as well as we go into tonight. And then even in your Friday time frame for Black Friday, definitely if you're going Black Friday shopping across the Rockies or the Central Plains, be aware that a major snowstorm is incoming here as we go into Friday as well. And then even into Saturday, the storm system is going to move east. It will weaken a little bit as it doesn't have the help or the lift from the Rockies, but we still could have some snow showers across Nebraska, getting into western Iowa there, getting down into Kansas, and who knows, even perhaps down into portions of the Oklahoma and Texas panhandles as well as we go into that Saturday, November 25th time frame. Overall, here is your snowfall output from now through Sunday morning on the November 26th time frame. Heaviest snows will be falling across Wyoming, down into portions of Utah, Colorado, west central Nebraska there. Widespread snowfall of 6 to 12 inches across those areas. And as we know, in higher elevations, we could even see higher amounts than a foot of snow, especially into Wyoming and Colorado with the lift from the Rockies there. As that system moves east sun, Saturday into Sunday across portions of the mid-Missouri Valley, it will still have some moisture with it with scattered snow showers, but it will be few and far between, maybe a dusting to up to two inches in some of these areas and likely mainly on grassy surfaces from Oklahoma here into eastern Kansas, into north-central Missouri, southern Iowa, and getting into western and central Illinois as we go into that Saturday-Sunday time frame. Overall, here's the temperatures you can expect today. Colder to the north and warmer to the south. To the north, you can see temperatures in the United States here into the 20s, 30s down into the Midwest, and then 50s and 60s further to the south across portions of the Southern Plains and the Mid-South region as we go into this afternoon. Tonight, that freezing line goes all the way down closer toward Amarillo and Texas. All the way down, getting very close to Tulsa there, even down into portions of the Fort Smith, Arkansas region, getting very close to that freezing line as we go through tonight. And then as we go into Friday, the colder air spills a little bit further to the south, spelling out that snow line that moves a little bit further to the south as well. Temperatures will be into the single digits up there into southern Canada in some areas as we go into that Friday afternoon time frame. 
Then as we go into next week, look at how quiet the weather pattern is in the wake of that system. We got triple, even quadruple high pressures across portions of the Rockies into the middle of the country on Monday, the 27th. We have lots of high pressure in control. You can see all the H's on the map there across portions of the country as we go into Wednesday. And it's going to be very quiet out there during the middle of next week. And to finish off November on Thursday, November 30th, the same can be true. Maybe some sporadic precipitation near the Great Lakes, down toward the Rio Grande Valley, southern Florida, or the Pacific Northwest. But even that will be very much a nuisance as as we go into later next week. So a very dry week ahead. You can see the precipitation anomalies here. Well below average precipitation for southwestern Canada, especially into British Columbia and Alberta. And then further to the south across the Pacific Northwest has been very active start to November. It's going to finish inactive. So an active start, an inactive start, an inactive finish to November rather across the Pacific Northwest. And then the eastern side of the country will be very inactive as well with that precipitation moving further south. Mexico, the Rio Grande Valley, and then down into south central Florida will be seeing above normal precipitation through next week. Then as we turn into the first full week of December into early December, things start to change again. So we have below normal temperatures for that I-95 corridor for portions of the Northeast and New England. That will slip down into the mid-Atlantic states into early December with those below normal temperatures. Above normal temperatures down into Florida here, but also across a good chunk of the upper Midwest, the Northern Plains and the Pacific Northwest for early December. But we have a very energetic subtropical jet coming across of the eastern Pacific into the southern tier of the United States for early December. And what that will do is create a parade or a train of storm systems moving in from the west coast and then moving further east across the plain states into the southeast as we go into early December. And yes, some of this could be snow if we have cold enough air here further to the south. And then the drier weather will be across the northern plains, the upper Great Lakes region, and into interior New England for early December and you can see the total precipitation accumulation this will probably change a million and a half times before we get to early December but just a general idea of where you could see the heaviest rainfall the heaviest snowfall moving forward into early December the west coast in particular especially the Sacramento Valley out here into California the Sierra is definitely going to get a good helping of snow with this pattern as we turn into early December that is for sure and then as we move downstream across the Rockies, it's fair game for more heavy snow across Idaho, getting into Nevada there, getting into Utah, Wyoming, Montana, getting down into Colorado. We could see some of that snowfall progress even further south with that snow line getting into northern Arizona, northwestern portions of New Mexico and then dry across the middle of the country until we get toward the middle of December. And then that's when we start to see a lot of these storm systems parade in from west to east. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel down below. Press the like button if you like today's weather content. Have a happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Again, thank you so much for watching. Share this video with friends, family, and on social media. And I hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving out there.